Well, it, it, th- this is where we get into the history of this is what bugged me in the, in the 80s and the 90s. I'm like, I'm like praying and saying, God, why are there so many of these? Why are we dealing? Everybody's sending them to us. We're dealing with more and more and more. And, and in the 90s, we have um, Holly Hector who works out of uh, Centennial Hospital in a book. Uh, they, they estimated 2.4 million, George, 2.4 million in 1993-94 victims. You know, I go to a mind control conference in Richmond, Virginia, with Corey Dunn Hammond and Alan Shefton, the constitutional lawyer, and he wrote a book, Transo Trial. And, and here you've got guys in those professional fields saying, in 1993, 94, I forget which date it was, um, there's a global conspiracy. And please understand, these guys are not prophecy people or Bible people. You've got now the head of the hypnotherapist, the hypnotherapist worldwide. You've got a constitutional lawyer, and they're showing slides. They believed back then, with all of the cases coming into the world of psychiatry, psychology, psych wards, they 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 said that there is a global conspiracy that it that, and and they were hinting that it came from the you know and, and when they begin to say and show on, on screen slides and information and testimony, this goes back to the Nazis. They said uh, there's a famous thing that me, many have talked about in the field called the Green Green Bomb speech that was discussed there in that mind control conference in Richmond, Virginia. They welcomed the CIA. They wouldn't let any of us uh, record the entire sessions. And they declared this is a global conspiracy. This is a global agenda. Uh, We're only seeing the beginnings of it. And since that time, you know, it's two decades now, more than that passed. And we're, we've seen more of it, and we've tracked it. We've been in Germany. We've been to the Hall of the Dead and Himmler Castle, and, and we've seen it there. And, and, and so we can get into the entire reasons for it. The, the reasons, George, is it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a well, multi-generational. It, it, with every single what are called satanic ritual abuse, SRA, and the old term MPD, multiple personality disorder, or now DID, the the American Psychological, Psychological Association calls it, uh, well, the DSM-3, the DSM-4, the DSM-5, they all have it, you know, in those those diagnostic manuals now. So they describe the issue, but without who did this. If you meet a multiple, an SRA, um, no one can be, you can't catch it, you can't become that on your own. It's not that a crazy person. It means someone knew how to cause the trauma to create a split in personality, and then they wow. knew how to then begin to program. How long does it take to program? Russ, how long? Uh, 